Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert. So, some of you got the email that I got about the um, Alabama uh, Coors Network. So, right now, most of us are connected to the Alabama Coors Network with an IP address and a port, and there is no username and password, commonly referred to as Intrip. So, for those of you that got the email that pretty much all those ports that they've got is going to go away. So they have updated the server, and they updated the server software. They ran into a hiccup with the new software. Apparently, it doesn't want to work with all those ports um, from the old software. So, you know, you have different port numbers that connect you to uh, different um, reference stations, and also on different correction formats as well. So. Just real quick, I just wanted to update you guys and let you know how you need to get this thing set up so that you're not down, hopefully. So we got the, the email. The email says, upon analysis of our existing infrastructure, it has been determined that all TCP IP connections are going to be discontinued and replaced with single baseline in-trip connections using RTCM3. Okay, what does that mean for you? That means your current setup that you have with the IP address and a port is not going to work. It's fixing to go down. So I'm gonna show you guys how to go and get this set up. So let me kind of give you a brief example. So if you go to Florida F dot, this is what F dot looks like. This is where um, Alabama DOT, the Coors Network, that, that's where it's going, okay? So um, Al dot will eventually get theirs set up the same way. And the way it works in here, once you set up an account, um, you go in and you do this shop thing. Now, don't get scared when you start seeing the shop because you see where it says buy now? There is nothing to buy. There's no purchase to be made. That's the way the software is designed to set up. This is a free network. They're not charging you to use the network, so there's nothing to buy. So don't be scared to click on the buy now. So you'll notice on my subscriptions, I have NAT83 and I have RINX3 on mine. Um, so um, it, what we're going to see is when you go to uh, Aldot, so let me go ahead and um, log in here. Okay, so you'll see that here we've got um, the same, it's pretty much the same, way, same thing. If you look um, Actually, go to that one. If you look at that one, look at that one. Colors are a little bit different, but you'll notice it says shop, post processing, uh, account details. Shop, post processing, account details. There's a live status in here. So it's going to be the same as the Florida network. So for the, you guys that are connected to the Florida network, this is probably nothing new for you. But what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to create yourself an account. So once you create an account, um, and let me, um, let me sign out so we can go back and look. Okay, right up here at the top, you can see it says create account. You go in, you create your account. So you're going to have two different username and passwords, theoretically. I don't on mine, depending on how you want to set it up. You're going to have your username and password, which is your credentials to sign up to the network, to the Spider Business Center to get you in. That's not necessarily has to be your credentials to log into the network with your data collector, okay? So you're going to have a in-trip username and password. You'll see that right here, username, password. Um, you can put in your personal information and everything, but if you've got everything set up in here, then they have your email, so you will be emailed whenever something comes up. Um, so I am already registered, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Blah, blah, blah. You can see there's all the reference stations. So I'm just going to go ahead and log on. So if I go to account details, go to user profile, you're going to see the same thing in here. Um, I've got my phone number in here. I've got my email address in here. Everything's in here. If you go to preferences and look, right now, this is the, IP, or the uh, port number that you're going to be using. 10,000 or 10,011 is the new in-trip port number that you're going to be putting in your data collector. 
the uh, it appears that the IP address is still the same. It's just this is a new port number that they're going to use. Okay, so um, we go and look at subscriptions. We can see that I have got the subscriptions, um, and I already did that under shop. You need to go in and make sure that you say you click on this and tell it to subscribe. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, you know, if you wanted to do some post processing like Rhinex data and stuff like that. That's what this is going to be for, so you can download data and everything. Um, kind of interesting over here, we can see the different stations. We can see it looks like they're mainly GPS and GLONASS. So what you're going to do with the Florida network, you do the, um, what is it, the Rhinex with the, uh, or not the Rhinex, but the uh, RTCM um, 3.0. 3. Point MSN, something like that. That's going to get you all the all the constellations. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you here in the data collector how we're going to set this up. Okay. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to survey styles. There's my L dot connection. I'm going to edit. I'm going to go to rover data link. There's L dot. Let's edit it. Go to corrections, and you can see here this is how I've got mine set up. So you're going to do your entrip username and password that you set up in the um, Spider Business Center, and then you're going to keep that IP address, that 205.172.52.26, and you're going to add the port 10011. Now, I am over in Mississippi. I'm way too far away from the network to actually for them to give me corrections because I will show you what happens if I go to measure and I say L dot and I say measure points and I'll say yes I want L dot you're gonna see it's building a source table so depending on which source table if you look at the near MSN that's the one I'm talking about it's gonna be GPS, GLONASS, um, Galileo and Beijing eventually once they get the stations up and that is something that they are working on so in this RTCM, this, this is going to be determined by what you should already have set up, which is going to be under Settings, Survey Styles. I go to my dot. I go to my Rover Options. You'll see I have Multi-Station RTCM. So you want Multi-Station RTCM so that you can get all the constellations. Okay? So let me back out of here. So here I am, and you can see I'm a long ways from any reference station over there. So um, if I try, if I say accept, it's not going to let me. It's going to tell me um, that I currently no RTK data available at current location because I'm too far away from the network. So anyways, okay, just down and dirty real quick. Um, that is how this works. So don't panic. Pretty easy. Just go... Um, if we look at, let me go back, let me sign back out so you can catch this one more time. And I'm going to, I'll put a, put this link in the uh, body of the email, or the body of the email. It's late, guys. I'm tired. In the body of the YouTube video. So you guys can just click on this, and it'll take you right to here, create you an account, get everything going. Change your data collector. Uh, in your data collector, change the setup. Like I said, you're going to change it to where you are going to use Entrip. You're going to have a username and you're going to have passwords. You're going to set up in here. You're going to change that port number. Everything else should be good. You shouldn't have any problems. So, hope this helps. It is um, really early in the morning and I haven't been to bed yet because I've been working on too many things. So, I need to get at least catch out an hour of sleep. Anyways, guys. Hope this helps. Um, like I say, this was kind of something that just came out yesterday. I guess yesterday evening is when they found out that this was going to happen. So, um, guys, as always, like and subscribe. I love you guys. <laughs> Take care of yourself. i got to get me some sleep. I'll catch you guys in the next video.